Welcome to the Dyson Sphere program. My name is Tom, and this is episode number 94, part 6 in the mini series to automating 20 small carrier rockets a second. In today's episode, we are going to be exploring a new star system called Zeta Draconis. Inside of Zeta Draconis is a crystal desert. And we are going to be exploring her for the very first time. She holds optical grading crystals, and we are going to mine those and ship them back to Gynar 2 to help us automate the Casimir crystals. Afterwards, we are going to be automating 40 quantum chips every second. So with that said, let's get started with episode number 94. Welcome to Gynar 3, and we are having a logistic issues with the optical grading crystal. Let's take a look and see what is going on here. All right, so if we click on one of these ILS, you can see that, uh, yeah, we are having issues getting optical grading crystal in each of these arrays. Okay, so let's take a look into why that is. This one's not getting any. This one is getting a little bit of that. Okay. Well, I think let's find the planet that is producing the optical grading crystals. All right, optical grading crystal, 4.3 million. Let's take a look. And that would be Elocrab 2. So let's head over to Elocrab 2 and see what's going on with our optical grading crystal. All right, guys, I will see you on the other side. Welcome back to Elocrab 2. Let's take a look and see what's going on with our optical grading crystals. And I will select these ILSs and take count of how many have optical grading crystals. So, wow. Yeah, we can't even fill 10,000 in just this ILS alone. So that's one ILS. That's two. And do we have a third one here? Yes, here. So it looks like we are not mining enough optical grading crystal to, to meet our demand. So let's find out where that is. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that's being consumed instantly. Here's the second one, and yeah, that's okay. That is very clear to me. We need to find a new star system that has quite a bit of optical grading crystal. We definitely need this. So I am going to, okay, we have this on star two. And let's do a attire star cluster. All right, so the production is 14.3 and consumption 14.3. That is interesting. Okay, there I think reflects a more accurate picture here. So 14.3 and the consumption is 15.2. So we need to resolve this right away. So I am going to hit the star map mode. And, um, I don't know, let's, um, let's find some optical grading crystal. Who is this practical silicon? Spiniform stalagmite, 27 million. Holy crap. Okay, nope. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh. 18 million 500,000 optical grading crystal here at Zeta Draconis. Yes, let's head over here. And this is Zeta Draconis 2, which is a crystal desert. Ooh, I don't think I've been to a crystal desert before. And look at that wind energy ratio. We are definitely going to be using wind turbines. Okay, guys, we have our mission. Let's head over to Draconis and begin extracting the optical grading crystal. All right, guys, I will see you on the other side. We are rapidly approaching Zeta Draconis 2 and we will explore this planet for the very first time. So here we are coming on it very quickly and we have arrived. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at those orange and teal stripes. Wow. That is very unique. Uh, a very desolate planet, uh, but pretty in its own right. I love the orange stripes down there. Okay, and um, let's go place our feet down on this planet and let's take a look at this. Oh, wow. Iron ore. That's the first time I've seen anything like that. Iron ore. Okay. I love the orange and the little crystals here. Very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so let's head over to the North Pole and we need to call down some wind turbines. So I will place a ILS here at the North Pole. And let's get these wind turbines over here. And we want, I don't know, let's start with a thousand. Okay, looks like uh, we do not have any wind turbines. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Boy, what a issue to have. Hmm. I probably didn't automate the wind turbines because I thought I would never use them again. Oh, that's a shame because we could really use them on this planet. Okay, well, let's, let's wait for this logistic vessel to arrive here. And there it is. It's bringing some warpers. So we'll wait until it arrives to deliver the warpers and then we'll see if it will call the wind turbines over. In the meantime, I guess we can kind of clean up our inventory. Okay, I mean, that's a bit cleaner. And uh, there he is. Okay, got the space warpers coming in and let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, nothing. So we need to head over to Merrick to see why we don't have any wind turbines. 
Wow. There's a lot going on over here. All right. Uh, over to Merrick. Wow. 11.394 light years away. All right, guys. I will see you at Merrick, and we will find out what's going on with our wind turbines. We are quickly approaching Merrick 4 to see what's going on with our wind turbines and hopefully we can solve it pretty quickly here. All right, we are here at Merrick 4 and let's visit the mall. What's going on here? Well, let's suggest this miner real quick. Okay. And we'll do something like this. Okay, that looks good. And this guy is all out. I will just you and you. All right, let's take a look at our mall. It's going to be over here. Hmm. Are we producing wind turbines? Yes, we have some here. We have 151. Oh, and this is the load of the vessels, 100%, so I'll reduce that down. And, uh, yeah, I hope that works. Okay. All right, so it's just a matter of producing the wind turbines here. So let's take a look and see what's going on. See if we actually are shipping those to the star system. Mm, where did it go? Oh, Zeta Draconis. Okay, there we go. And... I hope we are shipping the wood turbines. Hmm. I can't tell if we're shipping them there. Let's take a look at the mall again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why we're not shipping those. That's interesting. Maybe, maybe we're not demanding them on Zeta Draconis. So let's head over to Zeta Draconis and um, yeah, let's, let's see what's going on there. Cause, oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's just the warpers. Uh, so yeah, let's head back over to Zeta Draconis and let's see if we have them there. All right, guys, I will see you on the other side. Welcome back. We are approaching Zeta Draconis 2 and hopefully we will have those wind turbines on the surface of the planet so that we can begin the power grid here. Okay. And um, I think it's on this side, right? Yes. Ah, and uh, take a look at that. We have a thousand. So I am going to drag those here. Perfect. That looks good. And, um, where is the equator? Ah, right here. 
All right, so we're going to do something like this. Oops, that is off one tile. I can't believe I went. I'm using wind energy in this late of a game. All right, uh, yeah, that looks good. So, guys, I will place a cut in here, and then I'll, I'll come back and show you what I have completed when it comes to wind power. Welcome back to Zeta Draconis 2, and before you is my wind turbine farm, and we are getting a whopping 315 megawatts of energy. So that is going to allow for these advanced mining machines. So let's tap some of these optical grading crystals here. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is going to resolve our issue with optical grading crystals. Okay, so we got three already and I'm going to connect that to the wind farm and I will go off like this. Okay. And, um, yeah, that looks good. All right. And then I can use these Tesla towers. Okay. That looks good. Optical grading crystal there. And we can get one here. All right. So how is that demand looking? Looking really good so far. So I think we should tap some more guys. Let's tap some more optical grading crystals. Ooh, yes. Uh, that's 14. And I will come over like this. Okay. Excellent. And that is a fourth advanced mind machine. Shall we tap some more guys? I think so. Why not? I'm going to place the vein distributor on and Ah, here we got, we got one here. Perfect, okay. And a Tesla tower here. That is looking good. We have another one here, so let's place a Vance Miner down. We were able to grab all 14 of those. Excellent. All right. And do we have any other ones nearby? <laughs> we got some random coal here. That's kind of funny. Ooh, we got some up here. Good, and Tesla tower there, and let's extend it down to the wind farm. Okay. I like what I'm seeing here. Perfect. Okay, so I think the last step here is to, I think it's, to grit or place down some of these ILSs here. And I'll do one here. And we have to connect the power, so I'll do something like this. Okay, and I will use a wireless power tower and we'll stretch that to the wind 
turbines. We could just kind of connect it like this. Yeah, like that. Okay, and uh, yeah, so now we have a power in the ILS and I can demand some of those warpers. Then I can add in the logistic vessels and the drones. Okay, and so I'm going to let this charge a little bit. This one is charging as well. Let's place down another one here and here and then the tesla tower okay all right so now we have three ILSs that can collect the optical grading crystals and we actually have a patch here, so we should probably grab this one as well. That's 16. Wow. Okay. And we can come over like... This. And like that. Excellent. And what's our power looking like? Wow. Um, all right. Well, this should be interesting once we start demanding the optical grading crystal. So <laughs> I'm sure my power is going to hit the can. So let's get to the optical grading crystals in here. So I will do a local demand on that. Okay. And there go the drones. Okay, oh, not too bad, not too bad. Let's do this one. Okay. All right, now it's really jumping up, oh boy. And um, let's do this one. All right. So that is all the optical grading crystal we ever need, hopefully for the rest of the game, <laughs> we shall see. And yeah, that's looking pretty good guys. I'm happy with what I see. Okay, so guys, I think we can head over to, hmm, I think we head over to, Gynar, and we could take a look at how everything is going on with Gynar and the optical grading crystals. All right, guys, I will see you at Gynar 3. Welcome back. We are rapidly approaching Gynar 3, and hopefully we have the Casimir crystals and the optical grading crystals all settled. Excellent. And let me turn off this veins distribution. And let's see how our Casimir crystals are looking. All right, so it looks really good, guys. We have 10,000 Casimir or optical grading crystals and 10,000 hydrogen. So that array looks good. This array looks good. Excellent. Excellent. Good and good. All right, guys, I'm feeling really good about that. Our 
plane filters are solid. Why not? Let's add a total of 10,000 of the titanium glass and the casimir crystals. And I'm going to do it for this array. Okay, it looks like we already did. Awesome. So I think I will add the drones in here. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to need all these drones. Um, I don't know. We shall see. All right, guys, I think it's time to automate these quantum... Oops, wrong window. I want to... I want to automate these quantum chips, and we're going to automate 40 quantum chips a second. That is a total of 80 machines. So that's 2.7 belts of the processors. 2.7 belts of the plane filters. Okay, that's pretty easy. Let's see if we can do this in one build. A total of 80 assembly machines. So let's just say it's three belts for each and two belts for the output. So that's six, seven, eight. I think that will work. So I am going to place a interstellar logistics station right here. Mm, I'm kind of thinking about exploring a different layout. So, hmm. Okay, I think this is in the way, so I'm going to reposition this to be out here just for now. And I'm going to place a ILS here. And once I get the build down, I will save it as a blueprint to delete it and then re reposition that, um, that build onto the grid. All right, so we need processors and we need plane filters and that is going to make these quantum chips okay i don't think we need to add those in right now so we need three belts of each so i'm going to do this is going to be interesting hmm I'm trying, I, I kind of want to be creative in this build. So, it's just unfortunate that it's not a even number when it comes for, when it comes to inputs and outputs. So, I'm dealing with the output here. And basically, how I want to do this is. I kind of want to do a wider build. You know what I mean? Something like this. Yes. But how am I going to do that? Uh, it just seems really tricky. <laughs> um... So I think this one build will take a while for me to figure out here. So. Hmm. Could do 40 here and 40 here. Let's take a look at this again. So 2.7. Such an odd number. Hmm. Okay. And I'm just kind of thinking here, guys. So that's 1.4 belts. Um... 
All right, so let's do something like this. This is the output belt for the quantum chips, right? So that's two belts. That's two belts for the output, and all we need is 1.4. So that is taken care of. Okay. And then we need... Let's copy this over. So we need... <laughs> this is so tricky. Um, how do we want to do this? Let's take a look. At, I'm going to be taking a look at the factorial lab quite a bit here. Um, all right, so 2.7 belts. Okay, it's 2.7 belts. So a total of three belts if we wanted to do 80. That's over one belt to do 40. Okay, so since these two assembly machines are sharing this line here, we could do something like... We could do something like this. It's, kind of, it's a odd number, jeez. Um, because it'd be cool to come out here with the plane filters. Well, no. Yeah. So this could be the processors. Two point seven. Actually, no, no. So we could do just. Two belts here. All right, two belts. Okay, and that one belt will come in like this. All right, and in fact, This could change. So, <laughs> geez. Um, all right. So, this would be the processors, and this would be the plane filters. We can get rid of this guy, say none. All right. And in goes this like that and um, we'll re reverse this and this one because that needs to be processors or plane filters and processors all right Okay, I hope that makes sense visually here, right? So this line in the center is going to be 40, and then actually, I feel like I'm doing this wrong already. I think, yeah, I shouldn't do the center, I should do the, the outsides. Oh, okay. All right, so sorry about this, guys. We're going to readjust this, okay? That makes sense to me now. So we'll go two belts in like this so this will be the output and this will be the input okay I think I got it guys <laughs> all right and we'll do production speed up on that all right so this is how it's going to work Automatic piler here and here. All right. Processors. Processors. 
Okay. Oh yeah, that's going to work. And then two more automatic pilers here. This will be the plane filters. I hate when this happens. It's happened to me so many times. I want to go to the inner one. Okay, there we go. All right, so those are the plane filters, and then we'll come out with the plane filters here. Okay, and connect the belts. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. Well, almost. <laughs> so I could come out here with the quantum chips. And I need to come out with this guy here. So I'm thinking it's got to go. It's got to go over like this. Okay. And quantum chips out like that. Okay, I think that is going to work. So let's do it on this side. So we'll do one. I think that's right. So come out with the processors. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Like this. And then this is an output. Like that. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. And then... Yeah, we'll come out with processors here. Plane filter here. And plane filter here. Okay. And then... We come out here with... The plane filters and out here with the processors. Okay. Yeah, that looks solid. And then this guy needs to be adjusted. Okay. Production speed up, production speed up, speed up, and speed up. That looks good. And then we need an output. And that's going to come over here. Can it connect like that? Yes. It can, but I think that looks really weird. So, for aesthetic reasons, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it with a splitter. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. That looks better. All right, and so we come out with the quantum chips. And in with the processors. In with, no, that's quantum, right? Yeah, in with the quantum, and then this one's in with the processors. In with the processors. And in with the plane filters. <laughs> Slightly confusing. Um, yeah, I hope that works. We'll test it out, but I, I think I have it right. Okay, so the inner belt is processors. And this one is plane filters. And then this one is... Plane filters, and this one is processors. Okay, that is the build. And so with this build, we can get we can get uh, eighty assembly machines, which is pretty cool. So uh, to the viewer who suggested water builds, um, thank you. I uh, I think I should be a bit more creative in my builds, and I hope this pleases you. <laughs> so, all right. Um, the next step here is to place the spray coaters. Okay. Okay. 
like this. Okay, and then we can get our proliferator in here. And why not just copy from over here? That makes things more efficient when it comes to building. Okay. And we can place a Tesla tower here. Here. Well, how about we... Boy. I'm actually really liking this build, guys. I'm, um, I'm digging it. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I don't know. We'll, we'll put this thing together and see how it looks. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it looks cool. So what I will do is I really want these Tesla towers to be right next to the assembly machines because this helps with the blueprint mode. Okay, something like that. And to get ready for the blueprint mode, I do need to get at least three assembly machines down for each row. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. Boom and boom. Okay. Yes, and I will leave this end here free of the Tesla towers because we're going to use a blueprint to paste these Tesla towers right here, and we need this em empty. So that is the reason for that. And... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. All right, so we got to re rewire this. I hope that's connected. I hope that's connected. <laughs> All right. Looks good to me, guys. It looks good to me. So um, I'm going to make this a blueprint. And I will just say this is going to be the quantum chips. And I will save it. There it is. I'll go back and rename it with the information as well later. And so now that I have this build established, I'm going to delete it and reposition it on the grid so mm -hmm. that it looks nice. And I will place this. I think this is really the closest we can get here. Okay. And so we need 40 here and 40 here. All right, looks good. <laughs> we, we copied this guy over, didn't want to really do that. All right, so I think we can actually begin to call in the processors and the plane filters. So Let's do that. I'm going to add my drones and logistic vessels. And why not? Let's get in these space warpers and do a local demand on that. And then I'm going to do a local demand on the plane filters and a remote demand on the processors. Okay. And, um... Wow, the plane, yeah, the plane filters are here already. Those are probably proliferated. Indeed they are. Why are these not stacking? Oh, they are stacked. Okay, good, good. They are stacked. So those are the plane filters. We are looking for the processors next. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, this is not connected here. Let's do that. There we go. Much better, and processors should be coming in here. Let's take a look at the star map mode and see how far these vessels are. 
Okay, here they come in very rapidly, and they should be dropping out the processors. Let's carry over the proliferator. Oh, this one. Oh my goodness, I... <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. I kind of screwed up that one, guys. I can't let it go. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, come on. Splitter, please. There we go. All right. So that should work. Okay. Much better. And we'll just copy and paste. Just like that. And... Voila. Proliferator in. And the plane filter in. And guys, we are automating quantum chips. So let's complete this array. And because it's so wide, we only need one array because we are able to get 80 assembly machines in this build, which is awesome. So I am going to place this guy here. And then I'm going to press, press tab and extend it out like this. That seems like a lot here. Um, so let's place it. Ooh, what's going on? What's the issue? What's the issue? Should we force it down, guys? I'm not really sure what the issue is here. Collide with other object. What object is it colliding with? Does it show me that? I'm not sure what it is colliding with. It's not really showing me or I just am too blind to see what's going on here. I don't know. If you guys see what it's colliding with, let me know so I can understand what I'm doing wrong here. Because I seem like I'm running in this issue quite a bit. Okay, let's force it down and hopefully we can figure out what it's colliding with. In the meantime, let's um let's take account of this. We need 80. <laughs> I have 192. Oh my gosh. Uh yeah, I only I only need 80. Oh my god. I got a little too excited, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. I probably actually deleted too much there as well. We'll we'll take a look here. See see what we have. All right. Um Okay, 64, and, um, uh, I'm going to delete this because it's kind of awkward now. I am definitely not used to these wide builds, you know? So, um, that's my excuse, and, um... All right. Okay, that's 72. How much is this? Okay, that's 84, so I just, I, I need to get rid of four of these. Okay. That is a total of 80, guys. That is the build. Excellent. Oh, these are missing sorters. Well, I, guys, I clearly could not distinguish that in the collision. I just, I couldn't. I don't, I think it needs to be a bit more clear in the blueprint. To me, it didn't. It wasn't as clear. That's obviously because I, I missed it. 
I didn't catch it. So anyways, guys, uh, I fixed it. It was very minor. Everything is looking good. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. I love this build, guys. This is definitely my favorite build of the game. I do like the, the wider arrays instead of the really lengthy long ones. So very nice. I like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so here we are, guys. We got our quantum chips and that is... Is that 40 quantum chips? Yeah, we're, we are automating 40 quantum chips a second. Um, yeah, 40. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the episode. Thank you for joining me in this episode today and um yeah i hope you enjoyed it i i certainly did we did a lot of um mining of the optical grading crystals we sorted that out and then we automated 40 quantum chips every second and we are itching inching itching forward to 20 small carrier rockets a second guys so i will see you in the next episode where we continue forward you guys have a wonderful day there and take care. Bye.